somebody who always seemed to have a lot of time in life has retired he hadn't been playing that much for a while anyway but there's a formal retirement that comes somebody said he was the unsung hero of the 2011 world cup win but what are your memories of munaf patel because he came in supposed to be the stairway then he became this very good line and length bowler but generally he carried the air of someone who was quite chilled out right no was he, he was, was he really he was. like that i think he's 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 very chilled out as a person he's he's someone who is uh, who is a thinker of the game you know and like uh, what what he uh, what he portrays yeah. it to be uh, he's 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 a very serious cricketer he's always been a very serious cricketer you'll you'll always think of uh, think of finding ways of of coming up with good performances and uh, he was uh, very sure of uh, of his own bowling and you know as 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 a bowler it's it's well, as a cricketer, I think it's very important to to know what are your strengths and and more more so what are your weaknesses. So that's something you know which which Munaf uh, always portrays. He always carried himself with uh, with with that kind of and approach a, and and attitude on the humor field. as well. No? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, we 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 all remember him for uh, for the biryanis which he used to which he used to bring bring yeah. you know off the field which 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 is something uh, you know we'll we'll always uh, yeah. always talk about that Munna bhai biryani kidhar hai? Ya biryani lau ni and but he's one of the nicest people you'll meet. Yeah, huh. he's one rare cricketer I would say. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to exclude anybody or include anybody who's done so much from where he comes from. Yeah, you go to Baruch, you go to the area, the little town that he comes from. Ikhar, Ikhar? He's done little ah. things like create a school somewhere, work with some hospital, do things that yeah. we all of us should be doing, which we don't do enough, I think. And he's one of those who's, like you said, unsung hero of that World Cup as well. But I think he's been the real unsung hero. He's probably one man that should be talking to people and figuring out what happens. You know, he came in as a tear away fast bowler, and then he found his rhythm, yeah. line length cricketing way so he would have a mindset of somebody to who comes including Zach in that I mean a lot of them what happens to a guy who comes from a small town and he spends all those years trying to get to Indian cricket without having to know what and why how am I going to get there so these are people that have real stories and for it's, me it's one of the it's one of the most beautiful stories here's, here's a, someone who comes from a really small yeah. town he said he was getting 35 rupees a day when he was he was doing little work around and then someone discovered this kid can bowl well he wasn't that and much can kid, really bowl can and bowl. really quick i mean what a everyone story. everyone took notice of him just because uh, he he is not someone who has been coached you know he's a very natural bowler he he would just run in and bowl as fast as possible and and he could really crank it up so you know that's something which uh, which uh, sachin also took notice of i think you know sachin was one of the one of the few guys who, who spotted him and uh, and and then got him to to mumbai as well so he ended up playing for mumbai also for quite some time but uh, he was someone who was uh, was very natural bowler and and could bowl really quick just uh, uh, with without, I would say any coaching, anything. It was a ready product. <laughs> he was quite a player. In fact, he had what uh, first saw him 2004-5. Played on till 2011. Got in and out after that. But it's a wonderful story. Wish him well, and uh, I hope he continues with all the work that he's doing where he comes from. Maybe even get a couple of young kids from there to come up. That'll be that'll be a, a great legacy.